Hi guys, this is Tech Howdy. I welcome you to another video tutorial on creating an ASP.NET Core application with Angular 7. In the last video tutorial, we created the functionality where we could click on the button and view the details of the product that was selected. In this video tutorial, we need to fix the issue where a user with a customer role should not be able to see the add product button, the edit product button and the delete product button. So keeping it short, what it means is that a user with a customer or moderator role should not be able or given access to perform the CRUD functionality. Therefore, we need to make sure that when a user logs in as a customer, he only sees one button under the actions column, which is the details button and no other button on this component view. To do that, first thing I will do is change the role of my existing user. So I just have one user whose role ID is one and we all know the role ID for customer is two. So let's change this to two and now execute this query. So now if you see the role ID is two, which means this user is a customer, not an admin anymore. Go back here and then we we'll log out. So the old cookie is deleted, old token is deleted. Log back in. Okay, password. So logged in successfully as a customer. So now my role is customer. But when I go to the products component, product list component, I see the buttons which I'm not supposed to see as a customer. Now to fix that, what I'm going to do is go back to the application and open the product list component.ts file as well as the product list component.html file. Now go to the product list component.ts file and here you will see that we have a property called as user role status. Now we haven't used this property yet, so let's go ahead and first initialize this property inside our ng on it method. And just after or just before the model message where my DT options ends basically. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to initialize my user role status for the user. So first thing that I want to do is I want to get the current user role of the user that's logged in. So using the account service object, which is account. So I have to instantiate account, which I have not done here. So let's go ahead and do that. So we need the account service object. Therefore, we would need to instantiate it. So private account account service now let's go to the bottom where we were coding the method or the property so now using the account property we will get the role of the user so we have a property called as current user role which will return the current role of the user and it returns the value as an observable therefore we have to subscribe to it and now what we want to do is whatever is the result using lambda expression we want to assign this result to the following uh, property that we created which was the user role status so this is the property that we created so we will set the value of this property to our result. So we are subscribing to the result of the current user role, which is a property that returns an observable type of result, which is basically the role of the user. And then when we receive the property as an uh, result, as an observable, we subscribe to it and then assign the value of that result to our object, which is user role status. Now we can use this value inside our HTML to hide or show components or uh, elements. Now let's go to HTML page and start hiding the buttons. 
so i need to hide this button based on the user role which is add product so here what i'm going to do just before the click event i am going to add a ng if condition which is angular if condition to check if the user role status i think i have spelled it correctly but just to double check yes just copy it from here all i'm checking if the user role status is equal to admin so here i'm using single quotes make sure you use single quote because otherwise this will be converted into a string because we are already using double quotes here so now i'm checking if the user role status is admin then you show this particular button if it is not an admin then you don't show this button so now i'll save this and go back to the application and now you guys see that i don't see the button anymore because my user role as you all know is customer so if i had to get the local storage dot get item and i believe it is user role so just to double check what i have saved the user role as go to my services count services dot ts and i'm saving user role in local storage as the key is user role so go back here so it's customer so therefore i cannot see this button because the condition is only admin can see this button so we'll do the same thing for these two buttons here which is edit and delete so let's do that so go back to the html component copy this ng if rule that we added condition and here on these two buttons which is uh, edit and delete i'm going to add the rules over here so these buttons also are not shown so save this go back here and now as you guys see i'm logged in as a customer i cannot see the add product button i cannot see the edit button i cannot see the delete button all i see is the details button where i can just look at the details of the product so in this way you can hide components based on the user role status and if you even had to go and look at inspect the elements you wouldn't be able to see the hidden content so in this uh, way once again you can hide your contents from unauthorized users who are not supposed to view them so if you have any questions please use the comment section i'll push the code into devops repos and i think this should also be it for this video tutorial series for this project and this would be the last video tutorial for this project and all the code is once again available in devops repos please like and subscribe my channel and we will be adding more projects so probably next week we'll try to add one more project start one more project and also we have to learn how we can add images how we can add payment gateways into our existing projects and we will show that to you as well because it's very important you understand these concepts and use them in your projects so we will teach you instead of building the whole project with uh, with almost 60 to 50 videos we will just keep it short to about 5 to 10 videos depending on the project that we are creating let's say if we are building just the payment gateway project then we will try our best to keep it short and we will show you the process so for now this is the end officially for this video tutorial series for angular 7 and if you have any questions use the comment section on the particular video i'll answer them and if you want me to add something else also let me know i will add that in the existing project and add the video so once again please like and subscribe my channel tech Howdy.